Well, good day to you folks, and thank you for stopping by our channel. We are GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead, and this is the story of our beetroot. Beets that have grown very, very well because of a couple of things that we've done this year to our beet beds. Stay tuned and follow along. We will be taking you back to the last few days of June and the first few days of July when we were preparing our beet beds. But just before I do that, allow me to zoom in on this beet bed in front of us. The water bottle is there to show scale. These beets are growing, as I said, extremely, extremely well. They are quite large. In fact, some of the leaves are almost as big as rhubarb leaves. And again, folks, the reason why our beetroot are growing extremely, extremely well, it is because of what we amended the soil with earlier this spring. And again, look at some of these leaves. Huge, folks, and growing very, very well. Amending your soil for beets or any other root crop or any crop for that matter is very, very important. And stay tuned. In this video, we will take you back to show you exactly what we did with this beet root bed. And the very first thing that we did was aerate and turn over the soil in the beet root bed and in all our beds. Next, our grandson James and I went worm hunting and we added worms to all our beds. And folks, Betty and I have two wood stoves, one in our garage and one to heat up the old church. And we saved all of our stove ashes from both of these stoves. Stove ashes that we used to amend the soil in all of our beds, including our beetroot beds. We then covered our beetroot beds with weed barrier or landscape fabric. And next, using a blowtorch and a ring from a mason jar, we made planting circles in the weed fabric. And finally, we added two beet seeds to each planting circle. We regularly water all of our beds, including our beetroot beds, and then once every three weeks, we use stone dust liquid fertilizer or tea. Stone dust liquid fertilizer that we make ourselves. With respect to our young growing beet plants, we kept the strongest and healthiest plants. And then, ladies and gentlemen, folks, we watered them and watched them grow and grow and grow and grow they did to be very, very healthy looking, strong beet plants, as you can see in the clip that's streaming at this present time. We are very proud of these beets, ladies and gentlemen, folks, and we are very proud of the hard work that we put in to amending this very rich, this very healthy soil that they are growing in. We will continue to water these beets for at least three or four more weeks, and we will add more stone dust fertilizer or tea to our amended soil as well. And I can assure you viewers that we will have beautiful, beautiful beets to preserve for the coming winter. And viewers, I can assure you as well that when harvest time comes, we will show you the bounty of our beets. And we can assure you one more thing, folks. That is, we have lots growing in our raised bed vegetable garden and in our greenhouse. And we want to share all of that with you, our viewers, our subscribers to our YouTube channel. And that channel, of course, is GBL, the old church, Five Acre Olmstead. Thanks always for watching our videos, folks, and we look forward to seeing you in our future videos. Thanks again for watching. And now, folks, we will leave you with this short video clip. 